Welcome, on guard, on guard. Welcome to, to one leek. of our favorite of all vegetables, the leek. Many people think of leek and they just think of leek and potato soup, but this is a succulent, a caramelized, a charred, a sweet and elegant vegetable. In Ireland or the UK, most of us typically just use the white part of the leek, whereas in Northern Spain, in the Basque country, they typically just use the green part. We are all about using the full of the leek, it is so tasty and succulent. There's many ways to cook it. In this video, we're gonna show you three simple, delicious ways to cook so it. So first one you're gonna have is a Turkish succulent leek stew. stew and rice stew. Next one you're gonna have a beautiful pastry parcels of baked leek. And then we're gonna just show you fried leek with kimchi mayo on a beautiful, elegant sandwich. Before we start, in terms of leek, leek is from the allium family, so it's super high in antioxidant, just like onion and garlic. Allicin is the main compound. So really, really super healthy and fantastic. The top part is low FODMAP, so it's low in fermentable carbohydrate. The bottom part is high in fermentable carbohydrate. So high FODMAP for people with sensitive guts. Okay, before we start cooking the recipes, our new book is just out. It's available to pre-order. It's called The Veg Box. You'll find details down below. The goal of the book is to show you how easy, how accessible, how cheap cooking with vegetables is. So it's 10 veg, 10 ways using 10 ingredients or less. Okay, first dish we're gonna make is a baked leaked pastry. It's delicious, simple. It'll take about 10 to 15 minutes to make and works perfect as a lunch or as finger food. Yeah, so what we want to show you this time is how to bake a leek and baked leek is amazing. One, because leek have so much moisture and when you bake it, that moisture kind of steams and you end up with this succulent melt in your mouth and then you end up with char on the outside in the way that we do this. So this is magnificent, this is elegant and easy to make and it's quite an impressive lunch. It's something that you look like, ooh, who made that? But it's like, it's everyone likes pastry as well. Yeah. So here we go. Okay, first step, chop our pastry into four even, or nearly even squares. Okay, next step, cut the, par the parchment just back so that we leave a bit of that tray. The tray is gonna encourage the caramelization of the leek. Okay, what we're gonna do, this is puff pastry. If we leave it on its own, it's all gonna puff up. We want these to be kind of like parcels where the outside is puffy and the inside is stuffed. So, take pesto of choice. We're gonna use the best pesto in the world, our sun-dried tomato pesto. Ooh. I love this. Uh, and we're just gonna smear this along the middle. Be generous. Because as this bakes, this is gonna kinda go caramelized and go kind of charred and all delicious and all. So leave a bit of room around the edges. Next step, take one red pepper. Just take a sharp knife, sky. chop one side of it off, turn it on its side, and we're gonna just chop into nice long strips. Lay the strips on top of the pesto. This is also gonna help, help weigh down the pastry as well. Okay, now for the main bit, take one leek. So chop the end off the leek. You don't want that bit, unfortunately. Uh, and then we gotta have a look and see how big we want our leeks to be. So let's chop it there. Um, cut it in half. We gotta give it a good rinse. Same again, let's keep the same size. Leeks often hold a bit of dirt in them, so just give them a good rinse, just to make sure they're clean. Okay, take your leeks. Make sure they stay intact. We really wanna hold that shape. Pop them into a bowl. We're gonna get some oil. Nice little bit of oil, nice generous drizzle of oil. Generous pinch of salt. Again, be generous, we're using a coarse salt. And a little bit of maple syrup. This is gonna enable more caramelization. So that was about a tablespoon of that. And literally come in and just carefully massage them around. Again, we wanna really keep that, keep the shape of the leek. If you're too rough with them, they're gonna fall apart and that's what we don't want. Okay, take your leek and this side open, slice side open down, because that part, once it hits the steel and the oil and the maple syrup, it's gonna caramelize, it's gonna char, it's gonna create the, go through the mallard reaction and just add flavor as well as steaming. Okay, we're gonna pop this in the oven and bake it for about 20, 25 minutes until the pastry goes golden. We've got it on 200 degrees. Okay, our puff pastry and leek is ready to go. Ooh, I love the look of that. Oh, that looks bang. Okay, to finish this dish, take one ripe avocado. This is just gonna add a creaminess that complements the juiciness of the leek and the pastry so wonderfully well. So just to save avocado hand, take your avocado. One of the most, uh, the most common injuries in cooking is avocado hand. So do make sure and slice it on a board rather than in your hand. Just gonna add a creamy fattiness that complements the pastry so wonderfully. Okay, next step, this is the piece where we take our leeks and we, oh -ho! Oh, that one's nice. Oh, I love when they're caramelized like that. And then finally to serve, you can do whatever you want. Stephen likes to, was up for putting mayo on it. I personally wanna pop a little bit of chili flakes on top. A few sprigs of fresh thyme. Okay, here we go, leek maple glazed 
baked leek pastry pie. You go first. You go okay, first. I'm going first. You sure? Yeah, yeah, I think it's just. Oh, like listen to that mm. crispiness from magnificent. And the leek is succulent. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. Bang! Mm. Mm. I love leek. That's such a tasty one. That's mm. really, really, really good. Yum. Like there's layers and layers and layers of flavor from the pastry to the power stove. Avocado, a little hint of roasted red pepper. That soft, succulent, chewy leek. It's just delicious. Now for our next recipe. Welcome to the most succulent dish ever. This is based on, our sister-in-law is from Istanbul and this is based on her mother's olive oil Turkish succulent dish. It really is, it is so sweet. It's succulent, it's delicious. It's like melting your mouth. It's, anyway, we're gonna cook it, have a look. We're gonna do a simpler variation of it. So take 500 grams of leek, chop the nub off them. And we're gonna chop them into nice, kind of, kind of cylindrical rounds. We're gonna slice at a 45 degree angle just to kind of release the leek and we're gonna give them a good wash. We've got one carrot, I'm just gonna finely chop it into nice little rounds. The smaller you chop it, the quicker it's gonna cook. Okay, this being called a Turkish olive oil dish, we're gonna put in two tablespoons of olive oil, so a generous serving. Pan is nice and hot. Once it's hot, we're gonna go in with our carrot and our leek. And go with a generous pinch of salt. Okay, so you're gonna fry this for about five minutes. You're just looking to get a little bit of char. This is just flavor development. We could be lazy and rush in, but with cooking, it's the little details. And this thing such as the char is like, this is gold, this is flavor, this is what we want. Okay, now we're gonna go from frying to steaming. Right now, it's hard to get the heat into the center of the leek. So by steaming, heat transfers about 20 times quicker by a liquid. So we're gonna pour in. We have 500 ml of veg stock. We're gonna put in about 100 to start with. Pop the lid on just to trap that steam. Okay, we've steamed the leek for about 10 minutes. It's now time to add in the rest of the ingredients. We've got one tin, a 400 gram tin of butter beans, drained away 250 grams. So that's just a regular tin of butter beans. We have one tin of whole grain rice, or one pack of pre-cooked whole grain rice. In it goes. Okay, we've got juice of one lemon. Just squeeze it through your hand to catch any pips. It goes really well with leek and olive oil and that Mediterranean-like flavors. And finally, we've got 100 ml of veg stock we're just gonna add in, so it's 200 at the moment is all we've added. And a final thing, chop a lemon in half, and we're gonna chop half of it into quarters. In each of those segments, we're gonna pop it in just to cook in the dish, so it really permeates that flavor. Literally, that dish took 20 minutes to make. It's so easy, it's, it's one of my favorites. favorites. It genuinely is, it's a real celebration of the succulent deliciousness of it. There's so much flavor in something that's so simple. The addition mm. of the glug of olive oil and the salt and black pepper, just like, and, and the lemon. lemon, the citrus, that beautiful. Mm. Okay, right, let's finish the other dish. Okay, last and favorite dish, leek in a sandwich might sound crazy, but trust us, this These is These are perfect. leek medallions on top of a kimchi mayo, delicious sourdough bread, toasted, seven minutes to make. Okay, first step, take our leek, chop the end off it, and we're gonna chop them into medallions, so not too big, not too small. Okay, we wanna caramelize these, so get a pan nice and hot. In go with a good glug of olive oil. Let's pop our leeks carefully in. You want them to land in the oil. Get a good bit of little pinch of salt on top of them just to help break down the cell walls. Okay, while our leeks are frying, I'm gonna make a kimchi mayo. So we make kimchi in bulk here, organic stuff. So I'm just gonna show you how to make a kimchi mayo. So take vegan mayo, again we make our own. Pop two tablespoons of that in. And go deep down and get the juices. We want the juice of this. So in goes the juice, so about half a tablespoon of kimchi juice. In it goes, and just mix that through. So that's our kimchi mayo. I'm just gonna have a nice acidity and spiciness to it. Leek medallions are ready to turn. So see, we've got a nice bit of char and a boo, lovely way. So our leek medallions, we turn the pan off. There's enough residual heat that they'll just continue to cook. Take two slices of sourdough. This is our Irish organic spelt that we baked in the bakery today. The bakery this, being our own Happy Pear Sourdough Bakery. We've got a video on our blog of how we did it if you ever wanna watch that. Yeah, so take our kimchi mayo, get a generous bit of that in. Okay, next step, let's get some kimchi and layer it on. Try to go with the kind of juicy bits. I have a few cherry tomatoes. This is just to add a little pocket of juiciness. Okay, last thing, we made a little bit of dukkah. If you have zatar or you have gomasia, they'll all do great. It's just, just, just to add a pop of flavor, just another little layer. With cooking, it's all those little tiny little bits. 
and textures. This will give a nice kind of crunch and a crisp at the end and another kind of je ne sais quoi. Tiny little bit of oil and just, just a little drizzle over the top. Just a little bit, just gives it a little. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, the third of our leek dishes. Honestly, leek is one of our favorite dishes and this is a real celebration. These medallions are sweet, succulent, and oh so delicious. Okay, there we have it. There you go, Steve, you can take her home. Oh. Delicious, succulent leek sandwich. Mm. This is fantastic. These are, for the, so we're doing our Veg of the Week in honor of our new book. It's called The Veg Box. It comes out in June and it really is. This is the leek chapter. This is part of the leek. I love leek. I really do. Those medallions taste I amazing. It seems like a simple sandwich and you're kind of looking at it going, the leek's eyeballs are looking at me. Super oh, wow. tasty, but I just want to tell you, so the veg box, we've taken the 10 most common veg. We've done 10 recipes using 10 ingredients or less. It's a celebration. We've got a chapter on leek with 10 simple, delicious recipes that really, really celebrate them. The single biggest thing you could do for the environment is to eat more vegetables. And the goal of this book is to show you how incredibly easy, tasty and accessible eat cooking with vegetables are. Anyway, link down below to pre-order. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you love leek as much as we do and sending lots of love. And if you can let us know down below in the comments which of these three dishes you Ooh, enjoy nice. most. Yeah.